I am at uh, Santa Maria di Leuca. This is the southernmost point of Puglia. It's in the heel of the boot and um, all the way down to the south. Just wanted to come here to check it out and it is just absolutely beautiful. Way over there is Africa and um, it's just really beautiful. Beautiful day today. This is November the 2nd and it's like 70 degrees out here. Just beautiful. I know in Cincinnati right now it's uh, down to like 29 degrees which is crazy. I'm just so glad I came out here as one of my last excursions before I have to leave um, Italy sadly and no tourists as you can see down there these are all like restaurants and stuff but uh, nobody's out here right now because it's off season so yeah great time to come here there's a little torre here uh, that looks like it's, it's kind of broken or not kept up part of the town down there so yes Santa Maria di Leuca So I'm at the marina in Santa Maria di Leuca. It's uh, kind of off season right now. So most of the boats are kind of up on dry dock, if you will. But uh, <clears throat> I saw quite a few boats out here. And uh, up there in the distance, you can see the lighthouse. Uh, I'm gonna go up there later uh, and check it out. Alright, so I'm here in the marina of uh, Santa Maria di Leuca and it is just beautiful out here. I uh, just wanted to pan around and get a shot of all of the, uh, the boats and everything. And um, I just ran into an American guy, the guy in the blue t-shirt there, and he, this is his boat right here. So he travels around the world, he just sails around the world and uh, a couple of German guys over there as well. Uh, and they're driving that uh, speedboat over there uh, back to Croatia. Um, so it's just uh, interesting that I ran into him over here. But uh, let's take a quick look at the look at the rest of the marina, and uh, it's just beautiful. Today's just a beautiful day.
All right, so I'm up here, uh, sort of at the edge of town, and uh, check this out. There's the lighthouse up there. And I'm gonna go up there, but I gotta climb all these stairs over there to get up to the lighthouse, so. Sadly, I left my Fitbit at home, so I don't get credit for this climb. But, let's do it. All right, I made it. You know, I haven't worked out since I left since the, I'm a little out of breath, not too bad. I'm glad I made it. And there's the view. And there's the lighthouse. Okay. And then there's a pretty cool little square here and a church, of course. This is Italy. And uh, there we go, nice little square. And I guess I could have driven up here, but oh well, it's okay, no regrets. Good exercise. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get up to the top of that tower, the lighthouse. I doubt it though, we'll see. Well, here it is, the lighthouse, I'm at the base. Unfortunately, the doors are all closed and I don't think you can get in there. This whole area is pretty cool. I'll pan around and go over to the other end. And this is the other side, uh, kind of eastern facing side. And literally, if you went straight out that way, um, it's Greece. And I'm not sure it's coming out in this picture or in this video, but if you look very closely straight ahead to the left and right, you see some mountain caps. Um, so that's the first Greek island from here it's not it's not that far actually and you see some more mountains over here too it's a boat ride it takes you about four or five hours or whatever okay so this should be easy Right? Downhill? <laughs> yeah, just wanted to capture a quick video here. I'm ready for the descend. Actually, this this right here is the true southernmost point of Puglia. You look on the map and this is it. This little cliff at the very edge here. Obviously, they've got signs here saying not to cross. So I'm not sure I'm okay, going to. There's ample warnings here with the graffiti and everything else. But uh, you know what? I'm just gonna be super careful. So. 
so that's the southernmost point to pull you the heel of the boot. I'm just gonna go up there to the very edge. There we go. This is it guys. Alright, so now I'm walking towards the other side of this little cape and you can see a lot of grottoes down there. Also, I saw a lot of grotto tours uh, by boat, which is very typical in this part of Puglia. I'm at another vantage point uh, called uh, Ponte Ciolo, which is a little north of uh, where I was before in uh, Leuca and unfortunately the, they're doing construction on this bridge so you can't get any further than this point. Alright, so this bridge is under construction. Actually, this road then leads to Leuka. Uh, I just didn't know that. Um, in any case, it won't be open until next year. So, what I am going to do now is uh, actually hike up this trail. So I'm between Lueca and Castro uh, along the coastal road. I just saw this structure right here and I just wanted to stop and uh, get a video. So if you look over here, over there in the distance, you see a bunch of white buildings. I believe that it's Castro, it's about 14 kilometers from where I, where I am right now. Uh, this is Castro. I mean, the sun's already gone down. Um, I came here, got some lunch. It's four o'clock. It's four thirty. Not even, and the sun's already set. Of course, look at the sea. I mean, look at the yeah, the water. It's uh, pretty rough at the moment, actually. But this is November. Wow, this marina looks so different right now. It's off season. It's November. Everybody's gone and this place looks so skimpy with like literally a couple of boats left. Oh my god, compare this to 2022 in June when we were here. This place was just packed with boats and activity. Um, not much going on right now.
So you can see how rough the seas are. I mean, I was here, like I said earlier, in June of last year, and the sea was so calm. It was like a swimming pool. There were so many little boats that were docked out here. Sun has set on the other side of the boot. Um, it's time to go home now.